How is it going guys? Slippy Jim here. Welcome back to my playthrough of The Witcher 3. In the last episode, we went and found all of the uh, remaining undiscovered locations here in White Orchard and uh, killed a lot of wolves and stuff like that. And we also made ourselves a new uh, suit of armor, which we can't wear until we are level 3. And uh, another thing I discovered is I'd already made that. I'm pretty sure. No, no, these two are slightly different, aren't they? Huh. Well, they look almost exactly the same, but... Level 3, level 3. I tell a lie. They are slightly different. Because I thought I'd made... I thought I'd already made it, but apparently I haven't. Anyway, <laughs> enough of that. What we're going to be doing this episode is... We're going to be doing... Uh, the main monster quest for White Orchard, which is the Beast of White Orchard. Tracking and killing the griffin that has been terrorizing this area in order to get some more information about the location of Yennefer from the Nilfgaardian. So, I believe we can head up the road here to uh, get some more information about this. Let's uh, call Roach. Where is Roach? Here he is. Damn deer, the bark off the trees again. All right, look at that awesome That's it, Roach. armor that he's wearing now. Okay, so over in this direction. I think this little hut here, maybe. Whoa! Let's check it out. So we're gonna find the hunter. Anyone home? Must be out hunting. Okay, so he's not at home. We've got some, uh, some footsteps. Fresh. His love just left home. Okay, let's follow these these footsteps. Where are they going to take us? Over here somewhere? Alright, where is he? There he is. Let's talk to Ms. Slav. You, Ms. Love. Shh. Hear that? Wolves? No, wild dogs. Yes, more dangerous than wolves. What? Dogs more dangerous than wolves? Don't think so. It's the truth. Know why? No, but I guess you're about to tell me. Wolves hunt to fill their bellies. Wild dogs kill for sport. Just like humans. Aye, they've learned much from us. Why not cruelty too? I'm hunting bigger game. The Nilf Guardians the Griffin killed. Where'd you find them? Ah, I see. You a witcher. That monster slayer they's talking about in the village. Mm -hmm. I'll show you, sure. But, uh, I gotta kill those mutts before they hurt someone. Will you help? That is, if you don't mind blunting your silver blades on them. I'm not gonna use my silver blade on them. Don't you know anything? Sure. Griffin's not going anywhere. No. Dogs might, though. So step careful now. Come on. Well, I need to level up These to level three anyway. For a while now. Since the war started, soldier on the march, he'll stop to rape a woman, strangle her, kill her man for a chuckle, even butcher a cow. But a dog, a kick in passing, no more. So these stray mutts form packs. They're gaunt. Guts stuck to their spines, covered in scabies, but they just won't die, because they're clever. More so than foxes, and they hate men something fierce. Too late. Attacked another one. What? Where are they? Let's switch up to Igni. Okay, they're over here. They're not that tough! Why am I not swinging my blade here? That's better. Okay, you dead. Is that it? The wolves were definitely harder to kill than those guys. Nasty. Dieter. You know him? We served at the Lord's Manor together, where the Black Army's encamped now. 
He was a stable hand. I was the Lord's hunter. But that was before... Well, a long time ago. Before what? Before they drove me from the village. What did you do? Nothing. I'm a freak. Sorry. I'd rather not talk about it. I'm a freak too. Aye, but of another kind. If it's lycanthropy, I can help. What? Lycanthropy. Werewolves. Handled a few cases in the past. It's usually a simple curse that... The Lord's son, Florian, and I... We loved each other. Dieter walked in on us in the stables. They drove me away. Florian hanged himself. Lord started drinking, and the estate fell into ruin. That's the long and short of it. I'm sorry. Ah, ancient history now. I was to show you where I found the Nilf Guardians. Come. Okay, good chat. <laughs> Griffin, know anything about it? Oh, not much. Oh, not my kind three. of game. You're his kind, though. Survival instincts alone ought to make you care. I walk silent through the woods. No Griffin can hear me nor spy me. Not walking too silent right now, buddy. Where are we going? Follow the hunter. Where are you taking me, buddy? Over here? This looks like the area. Lots of blood stains. Was here. One lay there, by the stump, headless. The other hung from a branch, guts splayed, stretching down to... Watch out for yourself now. I'll be fine. Not the first griffin I've dealt with. Not likely to be the last, either. Hope you're right. Good hunting now. Okay, well, we have to examine the site. Grounds black, saturated with blood. Nilf Guardians were celebrating. Griffin interrupted them. Hmm. What else is there? Footprints? These prints are older, and deeper, heavily armored. Elf guardians, probably. Okay, let's follow these. Jump! Oh, come on, girl! <laughs> that was my bad. I uh, jumped a little bit too early. Where are these prints going? Let's just follow these. Okay, we got to climb up here. Where are they going? Up here, I guess? When jumping over large gaps, hold space during your leap to grab onto any outcrops on the other side. Oh, come on, I was holding space! <laughs> Let's try that again, shall we? Hold space during your leap. Alright, let's get that honeycomb. I like to collect this stuff whenever I see it. It sells for some good gold. And actually, we should. Uh, Griffin's nest. Oh, there's the Griffin's what nest. What remains of it, at least? Corpse is a couple of weeks old. Still alive when the Griffin brought him here. Took a long time dying. That is nasty. It's a dead griffin? Female. Larvae and her wounds have already hatched. Been dead at least a week. Other griffin must be a male. Deep cut.
cuts over the whole body. Not a drop of blood on the beak or claws. Didn't defend herself. Crept up on her while she slept. Beak tips worn. Gray hairs in the coat. Ten, twelve years old. Griffins pair off for life when young. Male must be about the same age. Thick shaft, dense barbs. A royal griffin. Explains why the male I ran into was so aggressive. Hunted the Nilf Guardians down here in the forest first, then started prowling the area. Done all I could. Should talk to Vesemir. Interesting. Okay. Preparing for combat. Never underestimate your opponent. This rule is at the core of the Witch's Code, and for good reason. Proper preparation has saved many a witch's life. It is likewise worth your while to brew potions, concoct oils, or visit craftsmen before engaging in combat. If you expect to battle a strong opponent, you might want to complete some side quests. Alright, we've already done that. Has this guy got any loot? Oh, hello. Take all that. I guess we'll read that that book or whatever it was. Let's see what that has to say. Uh, so that's just like a history or something. And what was that sword like? Yeah, not not quite as good as the one I've got right now. It's still pretty good though. Steel sword. But we can also level up or level up some stuff here. So let's go to character and we should have another skill point here to use. Um I was working on my Igni. No, I was I was yeah, was I working on on my Igni? Or my Quinn. I think we needed to spend some more points into this area to get to the next level of Quinn. So let's see three out of five. Um I can't select that, unfortunately. I think I need to do another one into this. So, three out of five upgrade ability. Um, that should be pretty good now though. Four out of five. Damage dealt by Igni also permanently weakens armor. Effect, scale, assign intensity, stamina, regen, in combat, plus two. But this is the one I really want to get to. <laughs> I think if we do one more into that, that should then let us get to this one. Because this is the one that the damage absorbed restores health, basically. So, yeah. Zero points available. Seven in branch. Cool. Cool. Okay, I don't think there was anything else up here for us. Was there? Can we loot this stuff? Oh, we can. Burned. Only a human could do this. So they burned the nest as well. Alright, we've got to head back to the town again. Let's see uh, if there's a fast travel around here. There's this one over here. It's probably the closest one. We'll head through to that one. And uh, speak to... Well, don't want to run off the cliff there. Drop down here. So I should probably use the... Uh, use the uh, blacksmith area to upgrade my weapons and armor. If this is going to be a tough battle. I can do that at the Nilfgaardian garrison quickly. Trouble is, every time you fast travel, it like it 
it's um takes a certain amount of time and that usually means that by the time you get to your destination the enhancements have worn off so um, actually I was looking for a signpost what was the signpost down here somewhere maybe we can probably run to the village from here anyway <laughs> Yeah, here we go. I think this is the village. Well, you know what? We can upgrade our sword here. Has he got an armor one, though? I don't think he does, even though he's an armor. That makes sense. So we'll uh, enhance the sword. But I don't think he has the armor upgrade area. Kind of sucks. Oh, yes, he does somewhere. I think he does. Hellraiser. No? No, it's just the indicator for him. Alright. The sword's probably all we need to upgrade. Although, yeah, probably the armor would be good. It's Durban now. D E R V A N. Not Out of the way, peasants. Alright, Vesemir. By the wood. Boy in clinics. Good lad, Master Witcher. Though he... Yes, yes, this boy in. Will he venture out to inspect his grain anytime soon? What are they what talking for? about? Harvest is a long way off yet. Oh, uh, good conversation there, Vesemir. Yes? What is it, Wolf? Uh... Got good news and bad news. Good news first. Captain of the Nilfgaardian garrison knows where Yennefer went. And the bad's that we have to kill the Griffin for him. What else could he want from two witchers? Go on. Tell me what you know. Griffin's abandoned its lair. Gotta make a lure, set a trap. And how's that going? Learn some things. It's a male, had its nest in the Vulpine Woods. The Nilf Guardians burned the woods down, killed its mate, smashed their eggs. Thought they'd fixed things. <laughs> it's always the same. Instead of sending for a professional, they try to do it themselves, only end up making matters worse. Got the buckthorn. Ought to work like a charm. Powerful scent. More like stench. City boy. Rotting meat, manure, piss, standard smells of the countryside. Remember Tredegor? Hunting that zoogle in the trash heap? You spent half the next day bathing, scrubbing yourself. How can I forget? You ever gonna stop bringing that up? <laughs> Fine. If everything's ready, say the word and we'll get to work. I'm ready. No point in waiting. Let's find a good spot to ambush it. Picked one out already. Other side of the stream. There's fields and a grove. Plenty of room and far enough so no one will get in our way. Good. Me there. All right. So that's probably why he was talking about um, the field. Prepare to fight the griffin by brewing the Thunderbolt potion. Interesting. Backspace In right Thunderbolt potion. Alright. Let's... Didn't know I had that, but I'll take it. Yeah, we already know all this stuff. Uh, Thunderbolt. Increases attack power. That's pretty sweet. Hang on. To select. Yeah, we'll equip that in a second. But the oil I didn't I didn't actually have, that kind of sucks. So um let's see. Where is this potion at? Here. We'll put it there instead of the meat. So we have to head over in this direction. Um, how far away is it? I probably want some more potions though, so I'm actually going to meditate. To get some potions back, we'll meditate to the next day. Unfortunately, that's going to make my enhanced armor and everything wear off, which kind of sucks. 
Should I head back and get that? I'll head back and quickly enhance the sword again. It's not that far to go. I don't think that it matters what time of day you fight these things. Like once you once you sharpen your sword, it should stay like that until you fight something because your swords don't really go dull just by sitting around. They go slightly rusty maybe after a long time. Maybe they got a problem with rust in this in uh, White Orchard with all the rusty swords I've been finding. Okay, how far away is this? Let's check the map here. Um, it's just here. Okay. It's not that far at all. It's crossing this field here. Okay, there's a couple of people here, so... Okay, where is it? Over here? A stream, amber waves of grain. Charming place. Perfect for an ambush. I know how to choose them. So, ready? Let's start. Wind's good. Bait's scent will spread quickly. Now all we have to do is wait. Come on, we can cower in the shade of those birches. <laughs> Slide under a tree. So tell me, once we find Yennefer, what'll you do? Got your eye on a contract? No, I'll go to Kaer Morn. Little early to settle in for the winter. Snows are a way off, yes. And that's what worries me. Nilfgaard's crossed the Pontar in the east. Puts them... Maybe a week's march from Kaer Morhen. If they reach the valley before snows can cover the passes... Well... We need to cover our tracks, hide our paths. Speaking of winter and wintering... Think you'll come this year? Maybe. Might bring a guest. It's close. Let's go give it a warm welcome. Wait, take this. Oh, crossbow, sweet. A crossbow. Won it in a card game while you ran around. Might come in handy. A witcher with a crossbow? We breaking with tradition? Stop talking, got a griffin to kill. Watch out. Okay, let's just um check which sign we've got going here. Uh, we wanted to use the blast one, didn't we? This one Oh god, this mouse is so The art, I it's think, is the one we Did that... Did I get it? There we go. I should use that, uh, that potion, shouldn't I? Increase weapon power, or whatever that is. Whoa! Damn, man, I need some uh, health potions. Don't Where let it get it away. Oh, it's okay. We might have to uh, chase it. Where's Roach? I've only got one swallow left here. All right. 
It's full of these tracks. Is this the right direction? I guess we just go to the marker. Some of these uh, types of quests, you have to, uh, you've got like a, a time limit to Come on, Roach, get up that bank. It's not that steep. Where is it? I can hear it somewhere. There it goes. Okay, chase it. Okay, let's get off. Let's get off, Roach. Come on, we can do this. Yeah, that's the way to do it, man. Oh, we did it! Whoa! <laughs> that was crazy. Not bad. Not bad. Man, look at my face. I've been drinking oh, too many potions. You could stand to improve some things. For example, upward vertical strike. It's too obvious. But more on that later. Take the Griffin's head to the Black Ones. I'll ready our horses. Meet me at the inn. Think I need to drink some of that that white honey. <laughs> I'm looking like a zombie. Uh Where is that apple juice? White honey. That's what I want. So I'll swap that out for that. I also need some food, I think. So we'll drink the right honey, and I should get back to normal again. And eat a bit more food. Let's see what the griffin has got for me. Infused dust, griffin feathers. Oh, we've got a mutagen. And the trophy, of course. Take all that. Man, I thought I was going to die in that fight. That was pretty crazy. Uh, collect your reward from the Nilf Guardians. Okay, there should be a fast travel down here, if I'm not mistaken. Okay guys, well we might actually leave it here for this episode just before we collect our reward from the Nilf Guardians. Uh, that's probably going to lead us into the next uh, main area. So we're going to leave that till uh, next episode. Hope you uh, are enjoying this playthrough. It was pretty epic today. We got the uh, the Griffin Trophy. Um, let's see what bonus this gives us. 10% 10% chance to dismem dismember. Well, that's always good, I guess. I might just switch up my potions again as well. Put Swallow in there. Put the meat in this top one here. I think that's a little bit better. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I... Like, the crossbow probably would have been good for that griffin fight, but I don't... Like, I've never used it, so... I didn't want to learn using it in the middle of a uh, of the main like monster fight, uh, hundred and one percent attack power, four to six damage. Yeah, interesting. Well, we'll see how we go with that uh, when we get to use that next. But yeah, we'll leave that leave uh, leave it here for today. Please remember to rate and comment. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Slippy Jim out.